So another kit bash project. I wanted a Tanjiro Kamado figure, but I didn't want to spend $24 plus tax included about $27 for the McFarlane one. I already seen it and somehow not so impressed by it. So decided to make my own figure of Tanjiro Kamado based on the $11 figure that you could get at Target. So the one with very limited articulation point because I was just interested in the head and the body is going to come from Star Wars Archive Collection Darth Rivan. So for my $11 investment, I was able to upgrade two action figures. So I was able to make a Tanjiro Kamado action figure, one that I really like and has great articulation points and costs less. And I have a more upgraded Dart Rivan action figure utilizing some of the already existing action figures that I have and accessories that I have. Let's first do a quick 360 view of the Tanjiro Kamado figure. Followed by the Dart Rivan action figure. The Tanjiro Komado head unit actually is already a drop down piece to the Dart Rivan action figure body. So no modification needed. Unless you want to let the head unit rest a little bit lower to the body. Then you could take out your drill and take off excess material. Okay, so just additions to this. It's going to be the head, the sword. So the sword comes from G.I. Joe Classified Series, the base figure of Snake Eyes. So it came with a black blade. So that's the one that I used for this action figure build. As for the cloak and the coat combination, that is to somehow mimic the coat that he has on because that is a black and green combination. So since I don't have that, I just made this. So where did the green cloth came from? That something, nothing really fancy. Came from a Target shirt that you could buy for about a dollar or so. And it would even go on clearance. So I've been using this on most of my kit bash builds. So nothing really fancy. And you have a Tanjiro Kamado action figure that really looks good and articulates well. So as for articulation points, we got rid of the extra cloth that the Dart Rivan had for the lower half. So it's rather again, actually very easy to take off. Just pull it off. <laughs> That's it. Okay, so for the head, really nice articulation point left and right, up, so that's it. Actually, it's just drop down, up and down. So because I took off excess material from this, so actually it's riding a little bit lower. So when I do that, it's going to pop off. But just the base Tanjiro Kamado head without any modifications drop it in it's going to work actually it would sit this way so it's a little bit higher but uh, to my own liking i would like to make that head unit ride a little bit slower so i took off some excess materials on the head so actually this one would ride a little bit lower okay so for articulation points so standard black series articulation points but because we got rid of the plastic hood then we have an articulated head so very actually the dark driven action figure once you take off the excess materials it's a nicely articulating figure and fits the anatomical proportions of that head unit and to make that green coat stay on the shoulders of the head unit so it's not going to play around so i just applied a little bit of 
3M double sided tape and that is also the thing that I use to connect the cape to the back of that green coat as for the Dart Rivan figure base body is going to be the Kylo Ren figure so I have one uh, around and I decided to upgrade the unit so I made use of the Dart Rivan head so it still retains yeah, in character and this extra piece of coat or cloak comes from Masters of the Universe Revelations Andra figure. The belt comes from G.I. Joe Classified series. I think this comes from Bazooka. Yeah, Bazooka with additional um, packets on the side. So I just glued that in. And a lightsaber handle or carrier. So just in case, I just want to have Dart Rivan in a single saber pose. So just take off the blade of one of the sabers and put this in. So actually, it looks cooler this way. With just one saber on the hand of the action figure. So with this piece of the Andra coat, you could put it on up front and this piece you could drape on the back that way and it's nice and thick and with that head unit because we don't have that plastic material you could articulate it left and right and up and down so this time it's a very articulated head unit as for articulation points, well, if you're familiar with Star Wars Black Series Kylo Ren, then those articulation points are present on this action figure. So that's the beauty of uh, doing custom work or kit bash work. Um, you could express yourself according to how you want the action figure to look. Plus, you could limit how much you want to spend on an action figure build and actually be really very, very creative. Uh, so, if you like this review, like, comment, and subscribe to help me grow my channel. And see you on the next action figure or custom action figure review.